Well, this is a little awkward. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in Germany right now. Guess what? I missed my flight. Yeah. Let me explain. So in the last 24 hours, I have been through all the emotions possible. It has been <laughs> exhausting and I was freaking out. It was very stressful. Story time. I'm going to tell you about how I lost or how I missed my flight. The night before my flight was scheduled, I was packing everything, we weighed everything, everything was ready to go so that in the morning we could just, you know, get up, go to the airport. But my flight was supposed to leave at 7. So we got there at 4 o'clock because I got this email the night before saying because of travel restrictions you may want to get there earlier. Recommended three hours early, so that's what we did. And so we had planned on getting to the airport at 4 o'clock. Okay, so now it's 2 in the afternoon. We are in Calgary to go to the airport, but of course um, we don't have to be there for two more hours and we need to get lunch. So we went to this restaurant to get some lunch. We went to the good old spaghetti factory. And, and then my dad is asking me, he says, so what's your flight number so I can like track your flights? And I tell him and then I think him and my mother were exchanging glances because apparently they saw that a flight doesn't exist. <laughs> so then I'm going back through my emails. I look at the last email and here's the thing. The email that I got the night before that said to come three hours earlier, like the, the subject of the email was just about check-in. It was just saying to check in. Um, but we thought like, well, I have to drop baggage anyways, so it will probably be easier if I just check in there because the Calgary airport isn't that busy. It's not like Frankfurt at all. So we were fine to just check in there and go a little bit earlier. At the very, very bottom of that email, it had a different flight. So I don't know what, probably the company that I booked my flight through, I... I don't know, they changed my flight and so instead of leaving that day at 7 o'clock, my flight got changed so it left at 12 o'clock that day and it also had a layover in Montreal, whereas my original flight, it was direct to Frankfurt. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in the restaurant. Um, this was like right before we got our food too. I, I looked at that and I saw it and I was like, I don't understand. And that's all I remember saying to my family is that I don't understand what happened. <laughs> I think my parents knew before I did because they saw that that flight wasn't there. The original flight number didn't exist anymore. So that it was the second that I found out I missed my flight and my heart sunk like I had such a feeling of dread and then right at the time our server comes around and brings us our food and I, <laughs> and I was just so, I was so upset and I don't know, I feel kind of bad for the servers because I feel like I wasn't as nice as I would have been. I was just so depressed. <laughs> and so, you know, worst case scenario is that we would have to pay for another flight. So we were looking up other flights that were available this weekend, even next week, and they were so expensive. So uh, the f there was another flight the next day and then two days after that, and they were $1,300. And I cannot afford that. That would be all of our savings gone. And so I was really concerned about that. But my parents were trying to, you know, help me calm me down a bit and they said that we don't know anything until we actually go and talk to the people and we need to actually go and talk to somebody rather than just phoning them because if we go and talk to them we'll probably have a better outcome so that's what we do we <laughs> we finish our lunch everyone else was kind of laughing 
I was very sad. And then we get to the airport. It's only like a 20 minute drive from the restaurant to the airport. And I walk in without any of my bags. And then I go and talk to the lady and I just told her the situation. I said, look, last night I got an email and I didn't see at the bottom that my flight had totally changed. And she was really confused about it because they didn't even have any flights to Germany that day, like at least non-direct. So she didn't even know why I had the original booking for that day, but like right away, it was kind of great. Right away, she just started looking for other flights, other possibilities for me. She said there was one the next day that was available, but of course my parents work and we live like three hours away from the airport. So it wasn't possible to be on another weekday. So then we found another flight on the weekend that is the exact same as mine. It's the same times and everything. It's also a direct flight. And she just said, you know, mistakes happen, accidents happen. And I was so relieved. Oh, yeah. It was, it was very stressful. <laughs> so then we're driving back home. I thank my parents for the nice drive that they took us up to the city and back. And then of course, on our way home, everything is resolved. We're all feeling better about the situation. And then everybody's making jokes about my reaction in the restaurant, <laughs> about how I just said, I don't understand. So I am in Canada for a few more days, which honestly, that's not bad. The only thing that we kind of lost from this was my train ticket because we didn't get it with insurance, but that was not so expensive and yeah. So I'm kind of happy to have a few more days at home. That's life. Accidents happen. And I was so fortunate that the lady helping us was so friendly and understanding of our situation and that she could help us so much. <sighs> I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you till first avenue when I do That's when I do I guess the truth is I can't leave memories behind When she asks about you Hesitate every time. Every time. I don't always think about you, but sometimes I do. Cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on First Avenue. Cause sometimes I don't even. Where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till First Avenue That's when I do Yes, the truth. 
truth is, I can't leave memories behind. When she asks about you, I hesitate every time. Every time. I don't always think about you, but sometimes I do. Cause sometimes I drive through. All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till First Avenue 